Cooking was a world of men. Women were basically part of the window dressing. And you certainly didn't see them teaching. I'm Julia Child. Welcome to the French Chef. She changed everything. She really knew what she was doing. Terrific technique. She just seemed so unpretentious. Well, that didn't go very well. Julia Child has been gone now for more than 15 years, but her influence can still be felt. The legendary TV chef and cookbook author changed the way that we cooked and ate, as well as the way that we watched cooking on TV. It also affected how women on TV were perceived. The new documentary, Julia, presents it all to you. Director and producer Betsy West uses never-seen-before footage to create a fascinating narrative here. Betsy, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Happy to be here. You know, what's amazing to me is uh, how Julia Child today is still a trailblazer, is still a standout. After all these years uh, on television, all these years that she's gone, no TV chef can even come close to the charisma, the innovativeness that Julia Child had. Why do you think that is? You know, Julia just had a profound impact uh, on our world and the way that we eat. Uh, my directing partner, Julie Cohen, and I grew up in that frozen food, canned food <laughs> world. And uh, we had a sense of, uh, you know, how important Julia was, but we really didn't know uh, the full extent of her impact and also just how much fun she was until we dug into this story. How was she able to succeed at a time and, and in the context where, where yeah. men ruled and I would imagine trying to push her down and push her away? You know, I like to think that it has something to do with the fact that Julia didn't really become Julia Child we know until middle age. Mm -hmm. And uh, hmm. she spent 12 years learning how to become a really good cook. And then when her book became a bestseller and she wound up on television, she was just so authentic and funny and not afraid to make a mistake. And audiences love her. I mean, she really connected with people. So how did she end up doing TV? Wasn't it just, uh, she was happened to do a, a performance with an omelet or something? Wow. Yeah, I mean, she had written this really extensive and uh, amazing book uh, about French cooking, which had gotten reviewed very well. So she went on TV shows. And back in those days, the shows were pretty staid. Uh, you know, a lot of white men sitting around tables discussing very serious things. And uh, Julia called up the producer that day and said, look, I need a hot plate. And they're like, what? We don't, we can't provide you with a hot plate. She said, well, I understand it's unusual, but please get a hot plate. And uh, she cooked a, an omelet for the, the, uh, the host of the show. He was kind of blown away. And the audience just started calling up and saying, who was that woman? We want more of her. Hmm. So that kind of launched her, her TV career. What I really love in this documentary is that you found footage that we had never seen before, which doesn't even seem like that's possible, <clears throat> including some uh, kind of sensuous photos of, of Julia Child. Yes, I, I really, we didn't really expect when we went into this project that we would be portraying Julia Child as a sex symbol, but certainly uh, she and her husband had a very uh, central relationship when they were in France uh, after World War II. And he was an amazing photographer and he took some very loving photos of Julia, kind of documenting their romance, including one, very tasteful, but there's no question, Julia Child nude. How about that? Bon appetit. How about that? Bon appetit. You know? yeah. and, and just to touch on uh, her world outside of cooking, uh, the OSS. How, how did that come about, which is the precursor yeah. of the CIA? The CIA. Well, Julia Child grew up in a pretty privileged uh, background in California, but she was restless. You know, after having gone to Smith College, she came back to take care of her dad. She rejected some very uh, wealthy, prominent suitors. And World War II came along, and it was an opportunity for adventure. So she volunteered for the OSS, the precursor of the CIA, and she wound up in the Far East as an office manager not 
a spy. People say she might have been a spy, but we have no evidence of that. But she certainly was dealing with uh, you know, classified material. That's where she met her husband, and that's where her world changed. Hmm. It's a really interesting documentary called Julia. It's being, um, <coughs> excuse me, brought back into theaters this weekend. You can check out more at SonyClassics.com and follow Betsy on social media. Betsy West, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so thank much. You.